Okay, continuing on with our series on learning GitHub. Uh, today I want to talk about branches and merges. So I have our GitHub repo that we've been using for all these lessons. And over here at the side, we've got the section that lists our branches. Now earlier we created a GH Pages branch. We're using that for the hosting. We don't really need this one anymore though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this extra branch that I'm not using. Uh, in the settings on GitHub, you can come into branches. Now, before I jump into there, I just want to come down here and double check inside the GitHub pages section that, yes, indeed, the master branch is what's being used for GitHub pages. I don't want to delete my live website. So, come into branches, and you can see that we can choose which is the default one. We want the master branch. Okay. Now I can go back to the code page and inside here I've got some tabs at the top and the branches tab is the one that I want to look at. This shows me that I have got the master branch. It is set as my default. Uh, so same information that was on that tab inside of settings. And then GH pages. This is my other branch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this branch. Now it doesn't matter which one I click on. It's the same branch, GH pages. Either way, if I click on that, there, I've deleted the GH Pages branch. If I come back, click on code, or I click on here, it takes me to the code page as well. Now, inside of branch, master is the only one that's there. Okay, so we can now create a brand new branch. I didn't have to delete GH Pages before I created another one. I just wanted to get that out of the way, just to show that it could be done. The master branch is our default. To create another one, you just have to type a name in here. And I also want to show there's two ways that we can do this. We can create the branch here in GitHub or inside the GitHub desktop. This button up here at the top where you're choosing the branch, this one still recognizes GH Pages because locally on my computer I still have GH Pages, but up here, master, and if I click on this button, I can add a new branch. There's also this from option. If I had lots of branches, I could choose where I want to copy it from. And that's what a branch is. It takes the current copy. So this shows all the commits and changes I've made to my repo. This is called the head. This is where we are right now. And a copy of this code will be put into another space, which is the branch. So we're going to branch off like a tree. This is the trunk, and we're going to branch off to create a brand new one. So I can do it here or up on GitHub, on the uh, GitHub website. So I'm going to do it here. What I'm going to do is just I'm going to add a folder and a JavaScript file. So let's say JS feature. That's the branch that I'm going to create. I'll hit enter and there we go. A branch has been created and this is the branch that I'm on right now. JS feature. Great. We have that. Down in the desktop I'm going to reload the repositories just to see if I can call that up. And there it is, JS feature. Okay, so JS feature, that's the one that I'm working on. I've switched over to that um, just to make sure when I come back here that this is where I'm going to be making the changes, not in the master branch. As soon as I make a change here, and you can see I've branched off. This is now the JS feature branch. This is the master branch here, and we've branched off. So we're kind of one step ahead. As soon as I start making changes, these two branches are going to be different. At the end of this, we're going to merge them back together. So you can take this, cha these changes that you make and put them back into the master branch. All right, let's jump into brackets. Let's do some work. We'll create a new folder called JS. And inside there, we're going to create a new file called main.js. And I'm just going to generate some random colors. It's a single line that's going to generate a random hex color code for me. I'm not doing anything with this code. I uh, just wanted to have something there. And then inside my HTML, I'm going to link to that. Okay, so I've made a change in index.html, main.js, and I've added the folder JS. Those three things have been changed. Go to my GitHub desktop. There's the changes. So the change to the index.html, the change to the JavaScript file. So added the new. JS feature, 
added JS folder and main.js added script to index.html. Okay, that's enough. Commit and save, so we're syncing. And what we're doing here, you can see now I've got a dot and this is where the head is now. So this was the commit that I just made, and I made it to this branch, the JS feature branch, not to the main branch. If we jump back up to the website, here we are, back on the website, uh, just refresh this, there we go, JS feature, now there's the JS folder. So nine commits, and the latest one inside branch JS feature is the one that we just made. Great. So this is all working. We've got two branches now, master and JS feature. This is the one that we're working on right now, the JS feature branch. Okay, now we have created some code and we've put it into that other branch because we were testing something. Now I want to put that code back into the master branch. So I didn't want to make any changes that would be irreversible to the master branch. That's why we create additional branches. You don't want to make a change and then have to undo all the code. So we make a branch, which is a copy of the code. We make our changes there, we test them. If everything's fine, then we merge that back into the master branch once we're happy with how everything is working. So I'm going to do this, compare and pull request. If I click on that, it takes me to a new page and right here at the top. This is the most important line right here. Able to merge. These branches can be automatically merged. So it's comparing the base, our default branch, master. We're comparing the JS feature. You see the little arrow is pointing. We're trying to put this into base. We're putting the compare into base. That's what we want to do. Yes, we can merge. So right here, this create pull request this is, we're telling the master branch, hey, we've got some code we want you to stuff inside you. Click on that button. Boom. Okay. This branch has no conflicts with the base branch. Merging can be performed automatically. So it double checked. Tried to do it. Click and confirm. So several button clicks, but then it gets it into master for us. Merged. So we added the new JS feature. Number one, merged. We merged one commit into master from JS feature. That's what we've done. So there's one commit from the branch. So let's go back up to code. We're now back in the master branch. The JS feature branch, it's still there. There's master. It's got everything that JS feature had. It's been copied into. We can, if we want, delete this branch, or you can continue to use it. You can add some more stuff in. But most of the time, when you build a branch, what you're doing is you're building a branch so that you can add a feature. Once you've got the feature working and you've merged it back in, you don't really need to keep it. So, delete. We can get rid of that. Okay, so that's kind of the full circle. We've created a branch and we know that we can create the branch here or we can create it in the desktop and once you've made the changes then you're using your uh, github desktop application to commit and sync to upload those and that's what we're doing here and now back in the master branch there it is merge pull request number one from professor steve js feature so that's what we did last, was we added this to index.html and this to main.js. And this is in the master branch. All right, so I hope that helps you get started. Uh, I encourage you to start to experiment, do some simple things, create branches, add some code, merge it back in, run through it a few times to get comfortable with the process, this, the push-pull process, the syncing process. Um, Honestly, it's not that difficult once you've done it a few times and you get comfortable with sort of the sequence of the events. Any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.